So you're in the market for a travel stroller. Check out this video. I get it. It's overwhelming. Should I buy this stroller? Should I buy that stroller? What's gonna fit on the plane? Do I need to check it? Can I carry it on? So many different questions. So today we have three strollers that we wanna review just for you. Ready? All right, so here are three strollers. The reason why we picked these three strollers is because all three of them are very compact. As you can see in the box, this is how they break down. All three of these are really small, which means that you can take all three of these on an airplane and put them up in the overhead luggage. That's perfect, right? You And I think some of these actually might be able to fit underneath the seat as well. So I haven't messed with any of these yet, so we're gonna pop these open here in just a second and we'll get a review. But first, I need some help. Ready to review some strollers? Yeah, and put them together. Yeah, we'll put them together. Okay, so here's all three of these strollers taken out of their boxes, as you can see. The first one is Maxi Cozy. It's pretty compact. It looks like we put it together. Uh, it's, it's probably the biggest out of all three of them, the Maxi Cozy. Um, this pocket one is probably the smallest and most compact. And then this uh, Bercy one, it's a little bit taller than everything else. You want to yeah. test ride them? You want to test them two times and we'll see which one is the best. All right, so the first one is the pocket stroller. This is pretty cool because it's already all built put together. So we don't have to attach any wheels. We don't have to attach any accessories or anything like that. Um, and this is kind of cool because in order to open this up, all you have to do is pull up the, the slats here and then fold the pan out and then just this is where you can actually flick it open. I'm not gonna do it here. We'll show you an example, but you actually flick it open. And then what it'll do is it'll give you an option to actually lock these wheels in place. And then you yeah. just push these two white buttons down. And then you flip it You pull off. all the way up. And then you flip it off. Then all you do is flip the sunshade over and you're ready to go. As you can see, it's really lightweight. It actually feels really, really good, pretty sturdy. And Yep, you can put your waters in here, you can put your snacks in here. Yeah. It's, um, and then I can't eat and I can go in there, I can't fit. Yeah, you can't fit there. This is actually a pretty nice design here. Um, I'm gonna see if I can, it looks like there's only one braking mechanism, which is down low. Um, but it looks like this could do the trick. It'd be a really good compact stroller. It actually tear down. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is fold the sunshade back, push down on the two white buttons and just press down and it'll, it'll fold all the way in like that and then you just fold it in half and then make sure that you clamp it down so obviously this is really small and compact and I feel like this is probably going to be um, really easy so far I'm really impressed with how sturdy it feels even though it's only nine and a half pounds and how easy it is to set up and tear down um, it is really small though so I can imagine I'm six foot six one it's gonna be hard to kind of push bend over a little bit to push it but if you're gonna bring a stroller this might not be a bad option all right, next up we have this Maxi Cozy stroller. It's probably the biggest stroller that we have, but as you can see, this doesn't have the wheels on there, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here we go. We have the Maxi Cozy. Uh, it's already built, we put the wheels on. One thing I noticed is kind of cool is if you push these two buttons down on the inside of this leg rest here, it actually pops up and it can expand out, so that's kind of cool. And, and then I can lay down, down on it. You can lay down, and the, the, it reclines really well. We'll show that here in just a second. Um, to tear down though, uh, it's I don't know if it's as easy as the pocket. There's two buttons you gotta push. You gotta slide and then push down and then push forward. And that folds really easily as well. So, and then you just click it in right there and it folds. So now here's the red one, the only color that we have. And it's not, it's not like my, on my red baseball one. It's not like the red baseball one. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. I looks like we're gonna need some additional cover covering. So this was probably just the case. Oh, in the rain cover. Okay. Does that go? Let me grab a knife. Okay, so now that it's cut off, it looks like the wheels, everything's on here. So we're just folding it up. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's like an umbrella where you gotta have it click yeah. the place. Okay, oh, and it yeah. looks like we need to attach. So, anyways, this is kind of the initial setup. I'm sure I'm missing something here. But overall, uh, it's got all the wheels built on. It does, this is probably the least sturdy out of all three of them. And so far, kind of the hardest to actually set up. Um, there is some more accessories. There's a rain cover. There's this interesting cover too. I'm not sure what that one's for. I think it's just for when you fold it up. Um, but it has its built-in sunshade as well. Okay, so to tear this down, all you gotta do is push this button at the top and then it'll fall, watch your fingers. And it'll fold just like that and collapses. So then you have this built-in case you just wrap around. And it's compact. All right, so that's all three of these strollers. Obviously, all of them have different pros and cons. If you're looking for the smallest stroller, I don't think the pocket's gonna be up your alley. The catch, though, is it doesn't recline, but it's super easy to set up and tear down, and it's super compact and lightweight. If you are looking for more comfort and luxury for your kid, I think the Maxi Cozy is gonna be that. The catch, though, with this one is it's the largest and the heaviest out of all of them. Um, that leaves you with the Bursi, which is kind of the middle ground. I think it's pretty easy to set up. Once you're kind of used to the process with Bursi, it's actually pretty simple to tear down and to set up. Uh, I like that it has a handle. I like that it has an actual carrying bag for it. And it's the medium size out of the three of these strollers. Um, if you're looking for a budget price, I think you're going to be Bursi pocket. If you don't care so much, I think the Maxi Cozy's cost a little bit more. The advantage of the Maxi Cozy, it has way more adapters and add-ons that you potentially could buy with this. It also comes with a cup holder, which we didn't set up and include. Again, it is a little bit bigger, but all three of these strollers should be able to fit in an overhead compartment. And I travel quite a bit, and I can tell you just right now, these two for sure should be able to go underneath any uh, airplane seat, um, as long as you're not stuffing it full of other different things. I think for me, I would probably pick the Pocket just because I like having the least amount of stuff. I'm more of a minimalist, so I'd probably err on this side. Um, but I know my wife would probably buy the Maxi just because she would want to make sure our kids could sleep really good. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you comment below, let us know your thoughts, and, and let us know if there's any other strollers we should review or we should have included with this list. Make sure you like and subscribe, and stay tuned to our next video.